and you're given successfully. Yeah, miezi ngapi? Miezi mbili. Give me for two months. Just two months. Today, Daktari, I don't have money. Just give me for three months. One tablet sometimes costs 80 shillings. And you're taking this drug morning and evening. That's 160 shillings every day. Multiply that by 30 days. How much are you spending? And in case you didn't know, if you have a healthy insurance cover, you are a target of many. The big farmer loves you when you have that insurance cover. That's why the West people, people from the West are actually suffering because they don't deal with medicines. They just get, they, they don't deal with money directly. The insurance is there. So the big farmer just instructs the doctor to make sure that they have done their everything you have the commission from the uh, insurance company they take these people out for dates and dinner expensive dinners they give them expensive gifts and spend a lot of money so that they just come back and write the same same prescription to push they call it push please doctor push this drug for me push this drug and medical representatives some of them are on my platforms are the ones who are actually propagating a lot of this uh, lies <laughs> they know the drugs They lie to you about the mode of action, but they don't know the side effects. They never mention. They only mention about the drug, the new combination in the market, and how fair the price is. And they want you to be as sick as possible, as weak and depressed as possible, so that you can always go back for another prescription. Run away from that slavery. Run away from that slavery. We might not be hard now, but we shall be hard. Yes, there goes back. Uh, there is a doc with a clinic next to my barber shop who prescribed this lady with diabetes medication and told her not to eat meat but consume rice fruits and soda when she feels weak listen to that i prescribe you a drug that i know will take you into hypoglycemia and then i tell you please snack on the following do biscuits enjoy your sweets drink your soda don't worry about that eat your fruits So she came for a service at my place and I offered her my expertise using your notes. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I know my students by their handwriting. Everything contradicted to doc but since the financial uh, the financial luggage ilikuwa kubwa alinisikiza. Let me tell you. You can wake up every day, work 10 hours or 12 hours every single day, make a lot of money. But that money will go down the drain in a week. Your covid father or relative was admitted you needed 300,000 to just book one bed that is just booking the bed you have not calculated the oxygen you have not calculated the azithromycin that were being given there and being charged very expensively you have not calculated whatever the costs by the time they are moving out look at how cancer sweeps people so this is the point so now the macrovascular heart disease uh, brain damage and the strokes all of them are there so the larger ones the heart disease the stroke Also the diabetic foot is part of that. And this is the time these people start experiencing the chest pains and then enlarged hearts they are told now you have congestive heart failure now is another drug for CHF. Okay? You have difficulty in breathing because now <laughs> yeah. If your heart is dysfunctional, of course difficulty in breathing will be there. It's called dyspnea. The doctor who runs this clinic has since never had a haircut in my place. <laughs> You just lost a, a client my friend. The lady has since brought other two ladies, one with H pylori and the other with ulcers, okay? I think so. Uh-huh. Man, I feel I'm a doctor already. You are a doctor. We all understand our systems better than those people who sat in a class and studied anatomy. I studied anatomy. One of the hardest uh, units about anatomy was embryology. Embryology is basically how the fetus develops how the embryo develops and then makes a baby that was the hardest thing in anatomy ne little did i know that it is coming to haunt me <laughs> yeah. yeah the same way about chemistry most of us sat near the window we didn't it was a free lesson or a free lecture for us until it's now cutting up until now you're being told fruits have fructose do you remember the metabolic pathway of fructose you don't crickets crickets every other time So again people who have diabetes have sluggish immune system. Their red blood cells, their white blood cells are stuck on sugar. And when you stick sugar on anything, it makes it uh, sluggish, very dense so it settles down. So white blood cells cannot move towards that food. So this is how it happens. You've blocked blood vessels uh, that supply uh, nutrients and oxygen and immune cells towards the leg and then you've gotten an ulcer remember that leg also you destroyed the nerves that supply that food so what is happening is as you get a, a wound 
or a prick, you will not feel the pain because there's no nervous transmission. So there's no uh, nervous transmission towards the leg. So no pain. Yes, you can feel the tingling because it's just basically vitamin B12 deficiency and also nerve damage. But you don't feel any pain. Even if they prick that leg, no pain. So when you get that prick, when you get that hurt, when you get that cut, you will not feel the pain. So what is happening is you're not supplying immune cells toward this wound and this wound there is no pain. So by the time you're coming to hospital, it's too late. So now no immune cells towards that, uh, that, that, that wound for healing. To initiate the healing process so now you're getting a wound a whole wound growing bigger and bigger and bigger by the time you're coming to hospital it is so big it has a lot of pus it is so gangrenous and it's difficult to manage at that moment in time hey and then imagine at that level somebody again loads you with honey on the same same wound one day it shall be understood the best part is i can never reach all of the people it is difficult, but with your support, it is very possible. With your support, it's very possible. So if you share any of my video to somebody, just one person, we will grow bigger. If you share our channel to only one person, we will be the biggest channel ever. They will start listening to us. We will be impactful. It is not about me. Even if I'm taken out, you have spread that information. So you will not say, oh, there was a doctor here who was talking about this. No. And this is not about us selling fear because we are not here. We, we knew God before we knew these medicines. So therefore, God got us. So simply share our videos with your relatives. Share, even if it's your friend. Share it even if it's in your office. As you're using that Wi-Fi, use, watch these videos. They will change your life for the better. So if you're in this platform, the best thing you can do to us is share this. Also like our videos. It is the best thing you can do to us in form of our growth. It will actually activate our growth and it will actually make sure that we are motivated to change your life for the better, to keep on giving you this information for free. So that diabetic foot is what we are talking about. We need to heal it. Okay. And how do we heal it? Go on a zero carbohydrate diet. And there's no way you can go on a zero carbohydrate diet because your vegetables will still have carbohydrates. But the beauty about it is simply drop the ultra processed foods and all other carbohydrates, whether complex or simple, drop them. It is time. It is time. Go on only a fatty protein diet, vegetables, and an avocado. Use saturated fats. Start fasting. At least do an OMAD. By the time you're getting to a diabetic foot, you have a lot of glucose in your system. So start burning that fat by just doing an OMAD. 